Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi, hi. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Fine. Fine, fine. Ready? Ready for another day? Ready. Excellent. We're going to give one minute for everybody to connect. <laughs> and then we will start. Teacher, una pregunta. ¿Cómo podría decir eh, en inglés no hay? Solo así, el muy no hay. There isn't. There isn't. O there aren't. Depending. There aren't. Ah, ok. <coughs> if you're talking about something that is singular, you say there isn't. But if it is something plural, that would be there aren't. Ok, yo tenía esa duda. Mm -hmm. So you say, there isn't any coffee. There isn't any coffee, there aren't any tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any tortillas today. Mm -hmm. There isn't any milk. If you can use it with singular and also with things that are uh, no countable, there isn't any coffee or there isn't any milk, there isn't any water, there isn't any sugar today. So you can, uh, any, any word that is no countable, you use the rest. If it is countable and plural, you use there are. So that's how it, it works. Okay. Well, let's see. We gave two minutes for everybody that was not here. Let's see. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are Good you? Good evening for all. Fine. Excellent. Well. Let's begin. I'm going to call you. So let's see if everybody is here. Mm -hmm. Today we're talking about inbounding and outbounding. We continue talking about logistics, right? That's inbounding mm -hmm. and outbounding. That's the topic for today, and we're going to be learning some uh, vocabulary related to that, to that topic. Let's see. Hmm. 11 today, Adolfo Rivas. Present teacher. Nice. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. No here, Adriana. Mm -hmm. Adriana Sofía. Sofi, Sofi. Ana. Ana Alicia. Brenda Alexandra. Claudia Guadalupe. No. Present teacher, present. Claudia. Present. Nice. Eh, Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. David, David. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. No here. José Arnoldo. Carla Lorena. Carlita. Mauricio Emilio. 
Nubia. Present teacher. Nubia. Pedro. Saúl Edgardo. Sulmayanet. Present. Victor. Victor Victor. Fernando Enrique. Present. Rosy. Present, teacher. Nice. La voy corronquita todavía, Rosy. Sí, teacher, y la cabeza bien hueca. <laughs> Me ha pegado fuerte eso. Sí, me preocupa porque la cabeza la siento horrible. Pero no es COVID, Rosy, ya se checó. Pues no lo sé, Tiche. Mejor saliera de la duda con esa cosa. Es que siempre que me hago la prueba sale positivo. <risa> ¿Cuántas veces le ha dado? Dos. Ouch. Sí. Uy, si, si fuera COVID, esta sería la tercera. Sí, y a mí me afecta en la memoria a corto plazo, era que fue Omar Carrete. Sí. Pero sigue haciendo los ejercicios que le dije, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Sí, porque eso le, le va a ayudar a mantenerse, mantener el cerebro activo y que no le, que no le afecte. Sí. Bueno, esperemos que no sea entonces, que sea solo gripita. Bueno, ya es que no se ve tan chiquita la gripe, pero. No, ya llevo más de cuatro días más, creo. Sí, sí. Ya lleva buen rato. Qué tremendo. Pero esperemos que ya el lunes la podamos oír. Ya no tan roquita. No, que ya mejor. Ojalá, primero Dios. Thank you, teacher. Bueno, let's see. Fíjense que voy a ir a cerrar la puerta. Que ya oyeron a la lavadora. I see it. I'm Victor. I am here. Hi, Victor. Nice to hear you. My essay present teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. Mauricio and Victor. Let's have it. Anybody else? Nos venimos bajando de la 44. Eso veo, eso veo. Eso veo. Nice. Nice, nice. What do you need? The other symptoms. Yeah. Well, today uh, we are going to talk about the 3PL service vocabulary. And also, uh, we're talking about inbounding and outbounding, right? Okay. I have something for you to to entertain for a while, check. We have some topics here, favorite movie or TV show, favorite music, favorite restaurant to go for a dinner, and favorite activity. And so what you're going to do here is just to get you in the mood of, for starting the class, right? You're going to be choosing 
one topic at a time. It's not that you're going to talk about just one, right? But you're going to be uh, choosing one topic at a time. For example, if I say favorite movie or TV show, you say, well, my favorite movie is, and you say the name of the favorite movie, or if you don't have a favorite movie, what's your favorite TV show? Can be a, a documentary, a sitcom, a reality, whatever, right? That's why I leave it like a TV show, so you can, Choose the one that you like. What's your favorite music or your favorite song? Which is your favorite restaurant to go for dinner? Dinner, no lunch, no breakfast for dinner. And what's your favorite activity? Can be my favorite activity is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> so I do it every time I am I'm free, every whenever I can. Right. Okay. So let's see. Let's start with um your favorite movie or TV show. Who would be my first volunteer? Favorite movie or TV show? TV show uh, The Mentalist. Okay. Your favorite TV show is The Mentalist. Choose a partner. Emilio. Who will be the next? My special friend, Rosa. Okay, we'll see. Vaya, we're going to do something to accelerate it, right? Para que no haya así como pausa en el que aburrido esto, teacher. So you say the name of the person and this person quickly says my favorite TV show, my favorite movie is this and this. And immediately say your favorite movie TV show and a name. Okay, bye. Rosie? Okay, my movie favorites are, I like dance movies, and my TV show favorite is voice. Um, my music favorite is pop. Which one? Folk music. Pop music. Oh, mm -hmm. pop. Okay. Pop music. Pop music. Mm -hmm. Um, my favorite restaurant are food. To go for a dinner. China food and Mexican food. Okay. And my favorite activity is play my song and dance. Play with your song. Okay. Yes. Say your name, Rosie. Um, Adolfo. Okay. Um, let me see. Thank you, Rose. Um, uh, my favorite music. Uh, no, my favorite movie is uh, Madagascar. I love, I love the movie for for mm -hmm. childs. Mm -hmm. I am not. I am. I don't have a favorite TV show, but I love reggae music. Oh. My favorite singer is Bob Marley, of course. Uh, my favorite restaurant, oh. possibly to go to Charlie's Voice. Um, Hamburg is delicious, are delicious. Oh. And my favorite activity, I love to go trek to the volcanoes, especially the Guatemalan volcanoes. Uh, the the El Salvador, we have a lot. <laughs> yeah, but, but, <laughs> are amazing volcanoes in Guatemala. Okay. For example, Volcán de Fuego. It's incredible, terrific. Okay, okay. Yeah. Say a name. Say a name. Uh, Claudia. Claudia. Claudita, Claudia. Hi. Hi. Tell us, Claudita. Uh, my favorite thing. Movies um, David Bella, uh, TV show, sentimental um, movie, sentimental. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And favorite, favorite music, um, Ricardo Arjona, 
Romantic. 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 Bueno. Favorite restaurant to go for dinner. Man. Eh, mariscos, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Seafood. 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 Okay. Seafood. 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 Mm -hmm. Y favorite activity. Mm. I eh, enjoy my family. Stay with your family. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Claudita. Tell me name. Uh, vamos a ver. Eh, Ana. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. You were not here at the beginning. Uh -huh. Okay, Ana. Yes. Ana, Ana, Ana Zulma me aparecen con los nombres chiquis. Voy. Okay, Anna, tell us. Excuse me, could you repeat the, the question? Can you see my screen? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the activity we're doing. Just one everybody in the group tell something about in 30 seconds. Favorite movie or TV show? Favorite movie, the bucket list. Uh -huh. Favorite music? Um, salsa. Favorite restaurant to go for a dinner? Mm, place where where we where we can eat pupusas and a pupuseria. Yes, that's true. That's the best for dinner. Uh -huh. Favorite activity? Teaching. Mm. <laughs> it could be no dance to me dance you have to say teaching Anna <laughs> okay. oh, sorry so sorry <laughs> okay Anna choose tell me name um, then the one that I have next to me Fernando Ah, no. José Alberto ya estuvo. Eh, no. Bye. Okay, thank you, Ana. Um, my favorite movie is a Black Hack Down. Black, and Black Hack Down. Okay. Uh, and the, the TV show, I have the, the, the favorite TV show too, is The Big Bang Theory. Okay. And my favorite music, salsa. My favorite restaurant for go to go for dinner is Caltepec in Los Naranjos. Okay. And my favorite activity, I have two. Mm -hmm. Football and watch movies. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent, thank you. Horror movies. Um, no. <laughs> uh, action, action movies. Action movies, all the books. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very great. Thank you. And the next is Sulma. Sulma. Uh, okay, my favorite movie is Pride and Perjury. And my my favorite TV show is Doctor House, oh, and uh, um, my favorite restaurant to go for a dinner is uh, Italian food. I like, and my favorite activity is go to the mountain. And the music. Uh, I like all all kind of music. It depends my mood. <laughs> Okay, excellent, Sulma. Tell me name. Um, Rosa Hilda. Yeah. Rosie already passed. 
Ah, ok. Um, José Arnoldo. Sí. Um, Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Ah, José Arnoldo. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about Adolfo. Yes. Ok, José Arnoldo. Um, my favorite movie, uh, Blade Runner. Um, because I like sci-fi. Um, my favorite TV show, I don't know, I almost no see TV shows. Uh, my favorite music, I like rock, electronic, and some reggae. My favorite restaurant, my burger. <laughs> And uh, my favorite activity, um, play video games. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank you, Arnoldo. Can you choose one more person? Who's next? Um, Cruz Antonio. Cruz, Cruz. Okay. Um, my favorite movie is Harry Potter. My favorite music is pop. Uh, my favorite restaurant to go for dinner, um, Mexican food. And my favorite activity, uh, maybe rest in a hammock. Hamaca? Hammock. 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 Very good, thank you. Tell me a name. Um, Mauricio. Mauricio. Yeah. You only told me the movie. Okay, my favorite music uh, is the rap. Okay. My favorite restaurant to go for dinner is a local restaurant in, in my city. Call it uh, Acajutla. I have heard of that restaurant. Yeah, that restaurant had three, I guess, in all the country. But the first restaurant is here. Son Sonate. Uh, no, in Acajutla. Okay. Yeah, my favorite activity. Um, could be go to the uh, go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, great. One last person, uh, Mauricio. Okay, let me see. Victor. Me, Who? Me, maybe Victor. Victor. Okay, Victor. Okay. <laughs> My favorite movie is a movie called A Perfect World. Perfect. It's from Kevin Costner. Repeat the name. A Perfect World. A Perfect World. Okay. Yeah, it's around the um, 90s. Mm. It's from Ke uh, Kevin Costner. Uh, my favorite. I'm sorry, my favorite movie um, is Perfect World. My TV show is uh, CSI. My favorite music is Rock in Spanish. And my favorite restaurant to go for a dinner is um, a restaurant called in Spanish Casa Campos. It's from uh, Planes de Renderos. And my favorite activity is my favorite activity is um, hanging out into the country. Okay, great, great. And yes. What? Can hanging you repeat? Out. My favorite activity is hanging out into the country. Go to, for example, go to San Miguel, go to... Uh, okay. Hang yes. out in the countryside. Okay, great. Okay. Let's listen to Nubia. She cannot skate. Nubia, tell us. 
<laughs> Nubia, Nubia. Come oh, here. No. No sé qué mal. Nubia, Zulema, Marisa. Nubia, you have three names. I haven't noticed that. <laughs> Nubia, Nubia. Nubia. Nubia Zulema Cortés dice que. The wedding of, the, of my best friend. Oh, my best friend. My best friend's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> my best friend's wedding. I remember I saw that movie for the first time. About we lost her <laughs> about 15 years ago. I was trying to make the numbers about 15 uh, years ago. Okay, my favorite music is salsa. Okay, salsa music. Uh huh. And what about your favorite restaurant to go for dinner? Mm -hmm. Restaurant Nubia. I'm reading what she's writing in the chat. Okay. Well, let's continue then. Nice, nice. Check. This is vocabulary related to logistics. Okay. So we're going to match these terms related to logistics to the corresponding meaning. I'm not going to leave you alone. You're going to do it in groups. You have logistics, supplies, procurement, distribution, maintenance, inventory management, supply chain, okay? I'm going to send you, we are on page 19 in your manual. I'm going to send you to the groups. Let's see. Uy, qué poquito salió. Ah. Dinero es el rosal italiano. She means dinner. Ah, for dinner. Okay. Yeah, thank you. It was like for dinner. Yes. El Rosal Italiano. Where is El Rosal Italiano? She will give us the answer later on. Okay. We're going to work in groups of three and do much. I hope everybody here, if you feel lonely, call me, okay? There we go. Join, join. Join. Mauricio Victor. Good evening. Hello, Analicia. Nubia is listener. Okay, teacher, what are going to, to do? You are going to match page 19. Check page 19 in the manual. Page 19, okay. Mm -hmm. Activity three. Quiero ver. No, ajá. Uh -huh. Activity six, sorry. I was moved. <laughs> Activity six. Bu building a vocabulary. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. Exactly. Okay. I am sharing. I'm sharing my screen. Can you see Anna?
Anna. Anna, Anna. I was reading and I had the the microphone off. Sorry. Okay. Match these terms related to logistic to their meanings. Yes, for example, for the first logistic process of supplying to store and other business that sell to customer that network the network created among different companies producing and distributing product the ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location maybe it's this <laughs> the coordination and of an operation involving many people facilities or supplies maybe that one The coordination of the coordination of okay. an operation involving many people, facilities or supplies. Okay, the number Pero seven. The ongoing process of move of moving parts and products. In... Okay. Bueno, si quiere, terminemos the, de leerla, vea. The number seven, I think, is. Surprise, general solution of the operation involving many people, facility, or surprise. Sería la number two esa. Number supply, two? Supply, no, logistics. Uh-huh. The ongoing process is moving part on the product in the... the ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company's location. Pero es que en la parte de abajo en la, dice, hay algo que dice de logistic, involving logistic, concert de errores relationship between company and the supply supply. ¿Dónde? Pero no sé si tiene que ver en la parte en, el, eh, en la parte 7. No, ahorita van a ser la 6. 6. Mm, sí. Supplies teacher, the coordination of the operation in mobiling many people, facility or supplies. Logistic. Uh -oh. Okay. No. No. No le hay ahorita. Read them all. Read them all. Go matching the ones that are easier and leave the others for later. Uh -huh. Main things. Mm -hmm. That is not possible. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can continue with the others and after we return to, to see what can can I can it be. Okay, I'm sure the the process of keeping something in good condition it be it could be ma maintenance 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 the number five okay the act of obtaining by goods and services that could be supplies mm -hmm. number two the amount of a good or service offered for sale Mm. 
is number six here. Yeah, 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 definitely. Procurement. Would you like to change uh, any, anything? Here is number three. What is the, the meaning of procurement? The meaning of what? Pro procurement. I'm going to see. Procurement. Uh, yes. Can can be okay. We have what do you think? Yeah, could be. I think the screen. Excuse me. I take the screen. Thank you. Okay. And we can we can have we can do this too or just the first part no only only the first only numbers ah okay teacher, teacher you scare me <laughs> <laughs> why i didn't i didn't know that you were here oh really <laughs> <laughs> okay, you finish, right? Yes. We think so. Nice. You think so? Okay. Bueno, pues. Let's go. Y los otros grupos estaban verdes. <laughs> yes, but maybe we have grown. <laughs> we were green. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check one more group before before taking you out. And then I will come and call you. Let's see. <clears throat> Number six, uh, the ongoing process of moving parts and products into and art of a company's location. The amount, the amount, the amount of a good of company 
offered by cell or location. What is that? Location or condition? Location. <clears throat> Let me see. <clears throat> <clears throat> The ongoing process, I think, inventory management. What? Uh, the number three, oh, the ongoing process of moving parts and product, inventory management. Okay. okay, the going process is inventory management. The sentence okay. that began the network creator is a supply chain. The network creating is supply chain. Process of supplying is distribution. And the coordination, the coordination of an operation involving many people is logistic. And the okay. process of and the process of keeping something is maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We are pro procurement is the last one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Ya no pasé la ticha si está good. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. Oh, she is hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. Yeah. <laughs> por allá del por allá del gallo, ticha. Ese se va a ir en diciembre. No, ingrato, tan bonito. <laughs> <laughs> en chicha. Gallo en chicha. My roster is called Rutilio. That's a good name for roster. Yeah, Rutilio. Do you want to, do you want to uh to meet? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh? Okay, no. Now, now in the chat, or let me see. <laughs> let me see. It's possible in this group, or when when I share something is for all groups. Hey, when you share something, you have to choose if you want to share only to this group, or if you want to share to everybody. Oh yeah, yes, of course I have the, the option, right? Yeah. Todos. Rosa Hilda. Yes. Uh, no. English corporativo. I don't know. English I don't know how to do. Huh? English corporativo is me. Yeah. Now. <laughs> now. English corporativo. Okay. But I don't have an option to, to send an image. Yeah, I guess it's not possible. In, in Zoom, it's not possible. Yeah, it's not possible. Okay. In the group, what's up? Oh, okay. Say hello to Rutilio. Ay, no, pero no se lo voy a comer. Okay. <laughs> Another soup. <laughs> okay. Ah. This is in the WhatsApp. Oh, no, 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 eso. Ay, qué chulo. Es que las plumas son bonitas, no los maten. It, 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 they have a, sometimes a bad behavior because it's only, 
to find the hen. Work, work in the job. <laughs> yeah, work, work under uh, above my ends. Oh, it's ter it's terrible sometimes. He likes to eat with you. Yeah, it's too big. Yeah, biggest in my in my in my block. I live in I live in a in Barrio San Antonio. Uh -huh. There is a there is a urban area, but all the neighbors have hens and chickens, roster, dogs, cats, uh, goats, cows, <laughs> any animals. <laughs> oh. Los chickens, dogs, and hens. That's nice. That's yeah. Nice. And and always in the early morning or at the middle of the night, uh, a horse, uh, a horse, uh, walk and run every night. But but it's it's a horse. It's not a ghost. It's uh, no, horse. <laughs> no, el jinete sin cabeza. No. Yeah. <laughs> I have a videos. <laughs> because yeah. it's a, because, because the, the female is, is, um, is near in other, in, in other uh, rural area. Oh. Yeah. The love. Ah, but that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. My mom used to have uh, hens. Yes. And chickens, dogs, turkeys too. But I have only cats. That's it. Only cats and fish. And no, 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 I don't have fish. Here, ah, okay. where I used to live before, yes. But here, mm. no, I have only cats. Okay. Mariano. Two cats. Two cats. Okay. Cats. No dogs either. Mm. I don't like dogs for having at home. Just in pictures. Okay. Just them around, but no, not to have them at home. Okay. More time, and I don't have time too much. Bueno, let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the main room. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's wait for everybody to come. And then we check. I think what we are going to do is agua apretada. No soy tan fuerte yo, eh? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Difficult to open the bottle. Mm. Uh. <clears throat> Bye. Ready? I see. Ready. 11, 12. I thought, I guess we're complete. Out. I guess now we are all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice, nice. Bye. Let's see. Logistics. What is logistics? The coordination of an operation involving many people, facilities, or supplies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. What about supplies? The process of supplying goods to stores and other business to consumer. And other business that sell to consumer. Are you sure? 
think that is supply. I have other teacher. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. ongoing process of moving parts and products into and out of a company location. Mm -hmm. I have other teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of a good or service offered for sale. Yes. And we have other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the act of obtaining or buying goods and service. Mm -hmm. Okay. So check. Supplies is the amount of a good or service offered for sale. It's a noun, it's not a verb, right? It's a noun. Uh, yes, that's true. It's a noun. Okay, what about procurement? Procurement. What is procurement? What could be the translation from for procurement, teacher? Procurement. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. Teacher, I have is the act of obtaining or buying good and service. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Vamos a ver in Spanish what is it because Spanish de español obtención it says. Procurement. 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 Obtaining. Attainment. Procurance. Procuration. Obtainment. Uh -huh, that's procurement. <coughs> or aprovisionarse. Sí. Is the yeah. act of, of, of obtaining or buying goods and services. That's proc procurement. So not that one. Procurement. Okay, number four. No, because there are a there are a song. Procure um, más. We have to we have to keep in mind. <laughs> Procura de Chichi Peralta. <laughs> okay. This is a good this is a good case, right? Okay, okay. But say it again so we can all remember it. <laughs> if no, we won't remember Adolfo. What? Sing it again so we can remember. Uh, procura enamorarme más y no reparo en lo que te haré. Okay. We have to, we have to fix or we have to find a relation. To find procura, a procurement. procurement. Okay. Well, that's the act of obtaining or buying goods and services. What about distribution? Distribution? Mm -hmm. Process of supplying. Mm -hmm. Supplying what? Go goods to a store and other business that sell to the consumer. Exactly. No. The first one. The first one, yes. The process of supplying goods to stores and other businesses. Okay. Yeah. Maintenance. Maintenance. What is maintenance? Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maintenance, it's pronounced. Yeah. Okay. Maintenance. maintenance. Is the process of keeping something in a good condition? Yes. Yes, yes. Process of keeping something in good condition. Nice. Inventory management. What is inventory management? The ongoing process of moving parts and product into and out of a company's location. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, that's inventory management. And the last one, supply chain. Uh, 
the network created. Uh -huh. Another one. Among what? Another one who wants to participate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a very strange word, right? Among, amongst. Amongst can also, we can also use instead of using amongst, we can use among. Among without, I don't know. Without the uh, with, what we can use this word like this among without without the s and without the t and the meaning is the same so they are synonyms right that yeah is entre and entre sí. okay it's the network created between different companies, pero usamos between cuando se trata de dos, digamos. O yeah. Por ejemplo, by aquí tengo una y aquí tengo otra. So it's relation between these two. But if we use among, we have this. Here is between, right? And this is among. Entre. Entre todas unas con otras, right? So that's, that's a net between this company and this one and this one, this one with this one, this with this, one, well, yeah, no. with this one. So all companies relating with others. Right, and this with, with this one. So that's a net, right? And that is the network created among different companies producing and distributing product. Imagine this company sends product to this one and then this sells it to this one. And this buys so the product from this, but sells so the product to this one. So that's like, like a spider, right? Like a spider web, that's, that's the relation among, among, and that's why we say among. If we say between, that will be only this with this. Yo y medio, right? So that's why, uh, that's the difference between using among or between. Okay, bueno. Let's see. This is your turn to go. I was created already. Right, so it's your turn to go create, check. Uh, read the definitions below. We have inbound logistics and outbound logistics. Later on, we will be on a working. Oh, kidding. And before I forget, let's check attendance. Mm -hmm. Porque si no, después se me va a olvidar. Ok. Eh, Adolfo Rivas. Present teacher. Ana María. Adriana María. Adriana Sofía. Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Cruz. Present teacher. David. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Mañana me van a regañar, fíjense. Porque muchos han faltado ahora. Oh, oh, Carla Lorena. No es your fault, teacher. ¿Hm? No es your fault. No, no. I know, pero como. Pues, 
Ni modo. Ni modo. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl Edgardo. Zulma. Present. Zulma. Ok, Victor. Victor, Victor. Fernando. Present, teacher. Present. Ok. Fernando. Present, teacher. Y Rosy. Present, teacher. Nice, nice. Uy, sí, ve con un montón de huequitos. La lista de hoy. Bueno. Ok. Vaya. Eh, I'm going to check again. And let's see what you're going to do here. Check. We're talking about inbound logistics and outbound logistics. What is inbound logistics? It concerns the relationship between companies and their suppliers, right? So my company and the people who supply uh, different things to me or to my company. And the outbound logistics deals with how companies get products to their customers. I want to show you something before we continue there. Check this. What is inbound logistics? It is the way materials and other goods go into a company, right? This process includes the steps to order, order and you order to the supplier, right? Receive, store, transport, and manage the incoming supplies. So the, all the supplies that are coming to the company. That's inbound suppliers, the inbound logistics. And that's why it says that the inbound logistics is related to me and the suppliers, right? Because it is related to all that material that enters to my company. It can be raw material. It can be finished material if I just distribute, right? If I get material or things that are already finished, and then I, I sell them out later, right? So that's the inbound logistics work. To order, order when I say, okay, uh, to the supplier, right? How many products of each type I want? Then the moment of receiving that product, of storing it in the warehouse, uh, transporting the product from wherever I need it to the place where I'm going to keep it and all incoming, right? So all the process of receiving the product inside the, the warehouse, that's inbound. And then we talk about outbound logistics. It focuses on the demand side of the supply demand equation. That's so we say the process involves storing and moving the goods. Now, not with the supplier, but from my warehouse to the customer or to the end user. In case I'm, I'm selling directly to the customer or to the, or to the person who's going to get it, or I can take it to the stores that are going to sell my product. So the, the, but that's the outbound logistics. It's in charge of moving the goods to the customers, right? The steps include the order fulfillment, right? The packing, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. changing, and the delivery and customer service. So I finish with the customer service. So I have to track and see if the customer received the product, if it was a receipt on time, and if it was received in a good condition, right? So that's what customer service will do. 
And that is all part of the outgoing or outgoing service. Everything related to the delivery, right? From my company to the customer. Okay, so the difference between inbound and outbound logistics? Yes, yes. It's clear for me. Yeah, it's clear for me. Okay, perfect. Now let's go back. Check. What you're going to do here is check. We have, you're going to detail all the process, right? And the steps, complete the steps from inbound logistics, when we get the product from the suppliers to the outbound logistics, when we get the product to our customers, right? To, from to the, the customers. From yeah. the suppliers for me and from me, to the customers that before all that process it's completed we have some steps mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. those are the steps that you're going to complete with these words that you see here right so i'm going to give you about eight minutes or ten for you to go discuss with your partners, uh, complete the steps of the process using these words. You have customer service, warehouse, transport, production, planning, and the purchasing. And when you come back, you're going to share and you're going to, to explain the chart, okay? That's good. Perfect. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, we only gonna use three of the... You're going to use the six. So okay. that means that you will write two in each space. Okay. Uh, we, can, we can mix, right? Sure, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. You will use two, 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 two. Mm-hmm. Basha, I'm going to share that. But there's only five, teacher. Hmm? My phone. The, no, there's only five. Okay. We have only we have only five options. <gasps> Wait, I lost one in the way. No, let me see. No, in, in the in the manual, there is only five. Yeah, they are only five. Hi. Yeah, at the time. Mm -hmm. Don't care, we use five t shirts. See, yeah, they are only five. One takes only one. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> I made the letter too big. That's why I was looking That for. is because it's, a, because it's the last. The last? Yep. The last yeah. day. The last day. No. Oh, yeah, the... it's, it's Friday. <laughs> TGI Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. The last will be alone. That's, that's my point. Huh? <laughs> the last will be alone. Oh. <laughs> there is one alone, but I won't tell you if it is the last one or not, right? I will say. Let's see. Um, the other one that is where we are going to. Oh. Ya me está regañando Zoom. Estoy compartiendo, dice cosas. Va, ahí está. Ok, so I sent them. Yo ya venía de maño, but, but anyway. Eh, so you see. You see them. Ok. No questions. No questions. Ready to go. There in we, groups. Ella. I'm going to send you in groups. Let me see. But I'm going to make other groups. Okay. okay. I had to <laughs> I have to use my fingers to, <laughs> to count the groups and see how many people I will send to each group. Okay, but now I'm ready. It's perfect. 
Then you go home. Okay. <coughs> join, join. <coughs> oh, no. Join, join. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi. Okay. So we need to. Do you see the screen? Uh huh. Yes. Perfectly. Okay. Teacher, we need to order the, the words, right? Yes. You have to put them in the three boxes, beginning with the inbound, inbound logistics to finish with the outbound logistics. Okay. So in the in the first one, I think uh, will be the the production planning. Production plan. The the purchasing is when when the when the common the company mm -hmm. is the purchase the for the the items or when the customers no when the company buys the product because ah, the okay. company purchases and sells ah okay okay Okay. Okay. Is purchasing. Purchasing. The next. The next. Warehouse. Warehouse and transport. I guess. Hmm. Yes, I think. Maybe the transport in outbound logistics. Mm. Yeah. Because outbound logistics, uh, it get products to a customer. I don't but, know. Mm -hmm. But if you have a, a direct sale, you don't need transport. <laughs> you need transport the, from, from the warehouse to the store. Okay. I guess, I don't know. Yes, I think so. Oops. Hi. Mm -hmm. Thinking that in this way, that mm -hmm. when you buy, uh, when you purchase, you as a company that is a, that is going to make a product, mm -hmm. right? Right. So you buy the material, what do you do? What do you do later and how do you finish? Because here what I see 
is that you are uh, are you buying product that is already done finished product or are you buying raw material to make the product mm -hmm. so uh If I if I buy the raw materials, mm -hmm. first is the purchasing. Uh-huh. And, and then and then I, I, I need to plan in the, the, the production. Uh-huh. But but yeah. producing what happens to the material. Remember what we have been talking about logistics, right? Mm -hmm. Where do you receive the things? Where do you get them? Um, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, Think about the logic. Uh -huh. When you receive the material, so you purchase the material, you receive it. What happens next? I need to, to manufacturing. Mm? No. <laughs> Send to the warehouse. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two. Because for me, the box number two, it's possible to 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 the the task is a uh, production planning because you need to plan you need to plan the production okay. when when somebody is purchasing a different product or a kind of product okay uh, but going, it, this uh, is yeah, this is one in, possibility in, right in this in this idea Putting customer service and transport at the last procession yeah. need to be in the middle. Yeah, the maybe. First. No, so purchasing. In, in, yeah, in purch purchasing and warehouse is in the box number one. Because you you need warehouse is a kind of place to storage, right? Yeah, but um, for me. For, it could be, sorry. it could be, but you you can you can uh, make the operation of warehousing with raw material, and after the production you can make the operation of warehousing of the yeah, uh, you are final ready, product. You are ready. You are ready with, uh, for the purchase purchasing, right? <clears throat> could be, could be in both. In in what box? Okay. Okay. Warehouse. Warehouse. Without H. Without H. But in this case, you can repeat the same Who's talking? word. Who is talking? Our teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay, teacher. Well, in this case, you can repeat the same word. You uh, need okay. to yeah. use yeah. your song, but it's for for a reason. For the reason, you can you can use that activity in both case. For example, you purchase raw material. You need to uh, storage for that raw material. That is activity of warehousing, and after the production, you need to storage the final product. And that is other activity of warehousing. That is the reason for why it's in box box. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Okay. 27 min uh, seconds. Hey everybody here. Nice, nice. Okay, sharing time. That's right. I need one volunteer. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, Adolf. Go ahead, Adolfo. Ah, okay. ¿Quién fue el que dijo, teacher? Me, no. ¿Quién? <laughs> They are close to each other, so I thought it was Adolfo. Okay, Fernando? Okay, I will, I will wait till my partner share the, the chart. Okay. Hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we think that in the first step, it could be purchasing, for example, purchasing the raw material <laughs> and from the supplies, right? Then uh, we go to the production planning to refine the raw material that we have just buy. And then it goes to a warehouse to store the product. Uh, it's gonna be there till the the order came, and then we're going to transport the product to the to the customer. The customer service it could be where the people call to ask for the for his for whatever he, uh, the people wants to buy it. And that's what, mm -hmm. that's what we think that it could be the, the right change, chain. Okay. I understand, I understand that inbound logistics, it could be when, when the, uh, I don't know how to say it. The company? The company buys the raw material to the suppliers. Mm -hmm. And the outgoing logistic, I understand that is when the when my company sells the product that I just buy and I and I refine to the customers, awesome. final customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Very good. That's all. Okay. Thank you, Fernando. Aha, uh -huh. I know somebody will tell me I have it different. I have it different. Who? Volunteer victim. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Victim teacher. Victim. Okay, tell me who. Victim, victim or Victor? <laughs> no, victim. That's the same. Okay, let me see. That's <laughs> the same. <laughs> <laughs> who? Okay, who? my victim, it could be Jose Arnoldo. <laughs> Jose Arnoldo. Jose Arnoldo, hello. Yo creo que quería decir Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Victor. 
Okay, great. Okay. Um, it, uh, ah, yo, yeah. in Cruz, at, eh, Nubia, San Alberto's group. Okay. Okay. Um, we think the first is purchasing the raw material. Mm -hmm. We need to transport and send to the warehouse. The in the second square, the take the raw material for production planning and transport the finished product to the warehouse. Oh. Yeah. And the last transport the product, the finished product to the customer service. Yep. Okay, very good. Excellent, thank you. That's with the difference that the first transport is not your responsibility. The first one is the responsibility of the supplier. They have to give you the transportation in the first one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other two are your responsibility, but not the first one. In the first one is the supplier, the one that has to deal with the transportation. Mm -hmm. But I agree with you, you do the purchasing, right? Uh, you purchase the product from the supplier, then you keep it in the warehouse because that's the, that's the, the right place where you remember yesterday we were saying, when you receive something like in Amazon, right? They receive something directly to the warehouse to keep it, to keep the product there or to store the product there in the warehouse. Yeah, yeah. But usually, sometimes when you when you purchase purchase a product, um, sometimes you receive a message. Uh, for example, we need three days to produce this this good. Yeah. And this is this is a, a we have or we have an idea that um, the company have the raw materials in the warehouse, yeah, uh, on the warehouse and ready to purchase to purchase to sell. You're talking about the suppliers, right? If you. Yeah about purchasing you purchase to uh, from the suppliers but you sell to the customer yeah mm -hmm. okay one more volunteer one more volunteer or victim a victim a ver we got from group number one that was cruz jose alberto jose arnoldo and nubia in group number two, that was Fernando, Rosy, and Zulm. Uh, we still have group three or four, Fernando, choose. Okay, let me see. The group uh, of Jose Alberto. Yeah, that was the same of Jose Arnoldo. Okay. Uh, the group, the third group, Ana, Claudia, o Saúl. Nosotras no entendíamos, pero le voy a hablar ya con lo que he, he visto. Este, first, we, es que nosotros no entendíamos y nosotros pusimos solo una palabra. Por ejemplo, en el primer cuadro pusimos Customer Serve. In the second one, production planning, and the last one, purchasing. But you're thinking in purchasing, uh, in that case, the customer. But remember that what we were saying is that in bond is your relation with the supplier. So you as a company purchase, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can purchase raw material, 
or you can purchase a finished product. Finished product, yeah. Pack it and you distribute it to customers, right? So the first thing is a purchasing, but you purchasing. Because we're talking, we're talking about the logistics. Mm -hmm. Remember yesterday we were talking about Amazon and how they had lots of packets and they had products of different uh, things. Some of them could be products that they did, but some others not necessarily were products that they did. They could be a uh, products that belong to other companies because remember you were mentioning they are intermediaries, right? In mm -hmm. the transportation and selling of products. So in this moment, when we talk about food chasing, it's not on side of the customer. It's on side of the company. When the company purchases to the suppliers. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen to the last group, Victor, Mauricio, Adolfo. Victor will be sure. Victor, okay. Okay, Victor, go ahead. We are with you. Okay, okay. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Completely. Completely. Okay, we put uh, purchasing and warehouse in the first box from supplier because uh, we purchase raw material and is needed to storage this raw material. So that is the operation of warehousing. After that, uh, after the after after the purchase of raw material <clears throat> comes to the production planning. And after the production planning in the same in the same box, we are we put we put the warehouse again because it refers at the final product after the production planning. And at the last box, we put customer service and transport. Why? Because customer service is the people that take the sales order from customer and transport it, deliver the product to the customer. That is an operation of self bonding logistics. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hey. So you see? Is that clear for you now? Yes. What is the process of receiving the product first? Buying the product or purchasing the product? Keeping or raw materials. Yes, uh, exactly. Exactly, receiving the raw material. Let's see here. Receiving the raw material. First, you, you purchase it. I don't know if it respond you. Okay, so. So first you do the purchasing. Once you purchase the product, when the product gets to your place, you have to keep it, right? To keep it in the warehouse. Eh, se fueron todo. So you purchase the product. When that arrives, you keep it there in the, in the warehouse. After, mm -hmm. after that, you have the production. 
the production planning and as uh, Victor's group was saying, yeah, you can keep it in the warehouse before you sell it to the customers. Right? Yeah. After that, you have the transportation. The custom, uh, transportation and customer service. Exactly, transportation, because you will take the product to the customer. The first, the, the first transportation is not your responsibility, but the second is your responsibility, right? Yeah, of course. So here you take, since you receive the product, keep it in the warehouse, work it, sell it to the customer, take it to the customer. And remember what I was telling you related to the customer service. In this case is that track that you as logistics keep of the product. For example, uh, they give you a track number, right? And uh -huh. if people are going to buy a product far, if, yeah. they need to track or to, to follow the problem where it is going and when it is going to get to his or her house, right? So that's yes. what uh, we do with these customer service. It's not, it's not just for people to call and say, listen, my, uh, my product is damaged. In this case, talking about logistics is not the purpose of the customer service, but it's to follow or to keep the track of the product until it is in the customer's hands and check it if it got there on time and in good condition. And yes. remember when you receive the boxes, they are full of numbers, right? And that between all the numbers that they have, they have a tracking number. That tracking number is the one that helps the customer know the location where the product is. For example, I see my daughter when she uh, gets things from China, she has a tracking number and she checks where his, her product is and she says, ah, right now it is getting to Colombia, right? Mm -hmm. It is in aduanas already, but they have a, it's not liberated yet for me to go get it right so that is part of of the job so she can track and she can know where it is but that's part of the logistics right since the beginning to the hand of the customers i want you to to see the following check when we talk about inbound logistics and outbound logistics, we have different uh, information, right? Talking about all the, the attributes or the activities that each of them do. You have the direction inward, outward. So you receive, you take it out, right? In the outbound. Focus. In the inborn is focusing in the supply so you have to know and you have to be sure that the warehouse is full of products, right? Not too full, but that has enough products to sell in case a people write to you or, or, or go or call or whatever, trying to get a product. So you have to, sh to be sure that you have enough supplies. And that's part of the inborn. And the outborn pays attention to the demands of the people, right? What people want, what people need. What is the role of the inborn? Receiving. And the, and the role of the outborn? Deliver. You, one receives, the other delivers, right? The key relationship, inborn has a relationship with the suppliers, with the vendors and with the distributors, what the outbound has relation with the distributors, the wholesalers, the retailers, and the customers, right? All the chain, right? End customer. And the, and the end customers, exactly, the end customers. Yeah. The processes. Inbound, for inbound logistics, the processes. Sourcing. Sourcing procurement, 
materials handling, like getting and having everything in the right place. The put away, it's where you put each of the or, or each of the things that you buy. <laughs> like yesterday that you made the observation and you said, well, they put everything mixed in any place, but the robots are the ones that look for the products and find them. So that put away is part important, important part of the inbound logistics, right? Where you're going to keep or uh, store each of the products that you get. And the outbound logistics is in charge of the inventory management. So they have to know uh, how much you have of each item, right? They complete the orders of the people who call or that get to the store and, and ask for a product. So they complete the, the orders, right? And at the end, they ship the product to the, to the customer. What activities do they do? The inbound logistics gets raw materials or goods, right? But these things are coming from the supplier. Yeah. The outbound logistics takes the finished products, finished product, and send them to the customer. Right? Yes. What are the strategies that they use? Well, the inbound logistics obtains goods or materials that the company needs to make the products. Right? They obtain goods or materials that the company needs, uh. and then. The outbound logistics meeting the customer demand. So they are sure that the demand of the customer is covered, right? That the customers are getting what they need. And then they support the sales process because they need to get a revenue, right? So that's the, that's the purpose of every business we know, right? Now, we're going to see everything more in detail here. Um, these are the words that we are going to, to identify and to learn. I'm going to share a document with you. I'm going to show that. Oh. For you to pay attention to those words and get familiarized with the vocabulary related to uh, inbound and outbound materials or logistics. Okay, there it is. Check the material, please. Okay. Already have it there. And then? Read it. I'm going to ask you vocabulary and you tell me. Okay. It's on the chat, right? Yeah, in the WhatsApp chat. Yeah, thank you. That's for you to get more familiarized with the topic. So check. What is sourcing and procurement? Sourcing and procurement. What is it? What is sourcing? What is sourcing? If you okay. remember in the in the box, yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's a part of the okay. inbound. Uh -huh. That's Who's identifying. It? Identifying what? And evaluating potential suppliers. Uh huh. Exactly. Identifying and evaluating potential su potential suppliers. For what? What else? Obtaining mm -hmm. prices quotes. Uh -huh. Negoci negotiating okay. with with and managing suppliers. Okay. So if we talk about sourcing, it's like where am I going to get the product? Imagine um, I want to make okay, um, jalea de jocote. 
Where am I going to get the jocotes? Who's going to be my supplier of the jocotes? I have to go to... Probably, to the field. I have to go to Sonsonate, right? O sea, yeah. <laughs> to the Cerro Verde to find the jocotes that I need. That is part of the sourcing. I have to evaluate which are the best jocotes, which are the cheapest jocotes, right? Jocotes that are not too expensive. And then I'm going to negotiate with the supplier. That is sourcing. What is ordering and purchasing? What Buy is the Buy goods? the goods and materials the company needs so the right quantity arrives at the right time. Exactly. So how many jocotes? I'm going to keep on the idea of the jocotes, right? How many jocotes do I need? How many jocotes? So I have to buy the jocotes, probably sugar, cinnamon, the bottles where I'm going to put the jalea or the jam when it is done. What else? Yeah. I don't know how to make jam. Glass <laughs> bottle. Uh-huh. The bottles, right? To, to the right bottles and the right quantity. Because imagine if later somebody asks me for 50 bottles of jam. Yeah. Which I only bought 20 bottles. Right ingredients. I have bottles, but I don't have bottles to put the jam. Yeah. Mm? So that is very important part. Ordering and purchasing all the goods and all the materials that I need to use. Now, mm -hmm. transportation. Mm, what transport. transportation do they mean? Do they mention? Uh, for example. The storage condition on the transportation. Uh-huh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. It will depend on the type of product that I am transporting, right? If I'm mm -hmm. transporting chicken, that has to be refrigerated. Yeah. So what- If you I transport, if you, trans if you transport uh, a kind of fruit, you have to know the temperature, relative humidity, exactly. and, and hormones or you know, a product that uh, contribute with the ripening of the product. Exactly, exactly. And I remember that also I have to consider the speed. How fast do I need the product? Will I use a truck, an airplane, a train? When I keep my train. By ocean, right? Uh huh, exactly. Yeah, we have to take, we have to keep in mind how long, how long time do you have? Exactly. Or how much time? To, to, the, to the final destiny. Exactly. Yeah. I need to hire somebody to move the product, all the things go in transportation. And that's part of the logistics, right? Receiving. <laughs> What can you tell me about receiving? About? Receiving. Um, I can hear clearly. Receiving. 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 With the material when, for example, the trucks arrive with the material, who is going to receive? Uh Product. Receive product. Who is going to unload the trucks, right? Yeah. Checking if the orders match with the, the with the material that you are receiving. Mm -hmm. What about handling? Material. Uh, handling is uh, it's referred to how to manipulate, how to, how to use the raw materials sometimes, or how to, how to drive the, the bulks or 
the products if you the products that you get to the consumer exactly and what about uh, put away what is put away mauricio put away se fue a dormir mauricio tenía el micrófono apagado <laughs> what is put away? Put away, put away. Moving cats from the receiving dog to a storage. Mm -hmm. Staff puts everything away in a segment location. Yes. So now you know where you're going to keep each product, right? So take it from the dock and put it in the correct storage. We know what is warehousing. We were talking about yesterday. Okay, inventory management. That was one word that we were using before when reading. What is inventory management? Aha, uh -huh, Alberto. Yes, it's in deciding the, deciding the type and number of raw materials or items and you should store and where to locate them. Mm -hmm. What type of material do I know, do I need? Mm -hmm. How much, how many, right? Um, items do I need? How many should I store and where? So that is part of the inventory management. And you need to know if there are a, some materials of that type, do not leave them at the end and the new ones at the front. You have to know that you have to manage with the position of each of the materials, right? Okay, expediting. What is expediting? Uh, let's see, Victor. Expediting. Victor, Victor, se perdió Victor. I can read teacher. No teacher. Okay, tell me. Expediting. Expediting. Okay, expediting, I think is the process for uh, to for send something. Mm -hmm. Check. The expediting is managing the progress of an schedule for material. So what time is this material coming? Where it's am like, I yeah. going to put it? So to make things faster, right? So you have to be sure that you make things faster. So everything has to be easy. Easy, easy to find because Remember what we said before, time is money, yeah? So you check the schedules of the material so you do not have two trucks arriving at the same time. You have to be sure that one truck arrives at one hour and the other one at a different hour. So you manage the schedule for the materials that you're receiving, right? What about distribution, Anna? Sending supplies to their destination. A destination inside the business. Sending supplies to their destination inside the business. Where is each item going to be used? So I'm going to send it there. Imagine that the company has not only one warehouse, but they have two, three warehouses. Where should I uh, send? each item, right? Where should supplies go? What is the right destination? What about tracking? We were mentioning tracking before. Uh, let's see, Rosy. Okay, tracking, checking on the types about incoming orders, such as their location and document like receipts. Mm -hmm. 
What is the location of the product? What is it? Yeah, so I have to know where everything is. Okay, and let's see, going to the next one is, uh, let's go to the outbound logistics. We said outbound is the moment the product is going out. So yeah. what is warehouse and storage management? Claudia? No, Claudia is not here, right? Jose Arnoldo, what is warehouse and storage management? Se nos fue, Jose Arnoldo. Sí, Zulma. Warehouse and storage uh, management. A company keeps a certain quantity of goods on hand to meet demand. Outbound logistic process store these goods securely in the right condition and organize them. And organize them. Mm -hmm. Organize them. Remember, we said uh, that the outbound covers the demands of the customers. So do we have enough things for the people, for the people's demand, right? And are they okay? So I have to be sure that I have enough, but not too much. And you will see why in the following inventory management. Cruz, tell me about inventory management. Inventory management. So, software often plays a central role in inventory management, a process that determines, determines? determines the best place to store goods in the warehouse. Its goals include inventory and order accuracy, accuracy? as well as maintaining product quality by preventing damage death, obsolescence, or spoilage. Or spoilage. So you, the person who is in the inventory management has to watch, right? Has to watch that you have enough products, not too many, so they don't get damaged, right? or they don't get lost because as there were so many, somebody came and took them and nobody noticed because there were too many or that they get ruined, right? Or if we're talking about other types of products, imagine, uh, have you heard of the obsolescencia programada? So you say, well, this computer will be good for this two years beginning now. And you buy the computer, you keep it there, and in two years, that computer is not in good condition anymore. So it's, it's obsolete, right? So that is something that the inventory management has to keep uh, careful and watched. Uh, Mauricio, bueno, we have been talking about transportation. Tell me about delivery, Mauricio. Okay, teacher. Delivery. delivery. On time delivery. On time delivery is critical to success. More, moreover, more, moreover, as, mm -hmm. as it comes to moreover, moreover, yeah. The customer order must have the correct items and quantities, yeah. and the package can't get lost or damaged in transit. All bond logistics takes responsibility of this, of this step. Mm -hmm. So as the outbound logistics is the one that is in charge of the delivery, they have to check that the package is not getting lost in the transit, right? 
soy yo que no sé, ah, bueno, yo no sé, yo lo mandé, se fue, y después quién sabe qué pasó. No, no, no. It's, the, it's your responsibility to follow the product, to see where it is, and that's why we're using the tracking, right? And to see that it gets to the customer's hand. Yeah. And that is what you see in the last delivery, the last mile delivery, right? That's the final step in an order's journey covers the last shipping leg and delivery. That includes services such as home grocery delivery from the local store to the common carrier, right? To, to the customer. And that is using a common carrier, for example, mandaditos. Mm -hmm. jam, right that's the last mile delivery and the last one delivery optim optimization that involves reducing the cost and the time right so it has to be quickly and the and the customer has to receive the product fast and that's being efficient right in the last exercise, okay? That's the last point. Any questions here? No question, teacher. Good explanation. Thank you. Vamos a ver to the last. And those were the last words related to logistics because tomorrow we continue talking about the three PLs, right? Okay, let's see. Tomorrow. Ay, tomorrow. Bueno, yo tengo clase. <laughs> Por okay, mí, we connect. Tomorrow is a normal day. 8 p.m. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Adolfo. Present. Uh, present teacher. Good night. Have a nice dream. Thank you. You too, Adriana María. Adriana. Adriana Sofía, Ana. Present teacher. Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. José Antonio. Present teacher. David. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Mauricio, Emilio. Good night, teacher. Good night. Novia Zulema. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Saúl Edgardo. ¿Verdad que por ahí andaba Saúl? O soñé que lo vi. O sea, ahí está, ahí está. No, por ahí andaba. <ríe> Y ahí anda, y anda. Ok, Zulma y Anet. Present. Victor. Present, teacher. Fernando Enrique. Present, teacher. En Rosy. Present, teacher. Ayer se quedó, ¿quién se quedó? Claudia le tocaba y no se quedó. Se fue corriendo. Claudia... Ok, hoy Cruz Antonio. Ya. Ok, bueno, me quedo solita. No sé. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you Monday. <laughs> See you Monday. <laughs> Monday, teacher. Monday. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Good night, Monday. good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Good night, teacher. Thanks for the class. You're welcome, Fernando. Hi, Saul. <laughs> <laughs>